Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's keep lighting these bonfires, which is probably what I should be doing, really. Unless I... I was going to go for this task, wasn't I? Since Marty's been dilly-dallying about it, and is still in no position to do it. I don't know that's what he's after, though. I'm going to pay two task tiles, and just grab this. And... yeah, I'll put it there, why not? So I need to pay a mandrake. I'll do a gold. And I've got a fruit. Yeah, let's pay a fruit. And reveal a new one to pay. And yeah, just if I get a path tile, I can do that. And, okay, and the next bonfire has got the one I need, and it's got a wild action tile. Maybe I should have done that next. But Marty is surely doing another fake tile. And he's still in no position to get these ships lined up. He can't do that. Oh, no. I've, sorry, Marty. <laughs> the plans haven't worked. He wants to do his task, doesn't he? Do his task. Been sitting there waiting. Yeah, and he wanted all the cards lined up, didn't he? Get a load of these card symbols. He's going to grab a card. What does he want? Completing common task, which he could do with one more path. Is he going to do any more, though? Free to wild as two tiles. Get a new fate tile when you've got a maximum of three. They are worth three points each for everyone you didn't use at the end of the game, by the way. Yeah, treat a wild as two others. No, no, no. Get more fate tiles. Pay what you want for tasks. Yeah, he's going to... He's going to grab that one. Do fate tiles when you've got up to three cards left. New one comes out. It's the same as uh, all the ones we've seen, but for different colours of guardians. So that's four novices out there out of seven. My turn. I can't do fate tiles for a long time. Let's just keep bonfiring. Over here is the tile that I need. And I'll get a wild action tile, I think. Why would you choose anything else? Unless you really need the resource. Marty. Yeah, he's going to do this, and he wants cards, doesn't he? Although he doesn't necessarily need a load of action tiles to keep getting cards. He wants sailing and tasks, but unfortunately he can't line them up because of how he's, how he's done these things. He can line up getting tasks, though. Get a couple of those. Yeah, I think cards is going to be more important. So, yeah, one sail will get into the island that he wants. It's just, yeah, he's really suffering for this, I think. Two card actions, and he's already got a sail. Me is the next resource on here. Yeah, the next one's on there. I'm just going to bonfire again. Yeah, this is... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is one side. Just sorry, Marty. And uh, yeah, get a Guardian action. Why not? Because you also want to move them up to go inside here. If you've got portals and completed tasks, you can send them in there and get points. It's uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, depending on how far along they've gone. Because you've had to do more work getting paths and portals and all that stuff and a lot of movement. Marty's going to go grab his task, so he's going to come up here to this island and spend a task as well to grab it. I don't think he's going to get five card action tiles. Yeah, he's going to pop this over here. Does he want to try and get four blues? I'm just thinking if he gets a... Either way, he's going to have that there. And so he needs to pay a shell, and he can pay a fruit, so he'll do that one. Oh, new one is also a fruit. And yes, that's done. Me, I'm still going with the bonfire. It's the next one that I need there. That's the last one. No, it's uh, it's a ways away. Where is it? It's this not Marty's first one. So I could just keep going and getting more tiles. It's not like there's really a rush. I wanted a path, didn't I? And that's coming up in a few. <laughs> I just get two points, more resources, more resources. But I can get a path tile with this, can't I? Let's, yeah, let's, let's grab a path with my question mark. So I want the same resource. None of that's going to line up uh, with the right colours. So I'm going to put it there. Maybe I'll get the right. Oh, no, I have to have it there, don't I? Ah, so the colour isn't going to match up. So do I want to wait to do that? I just need two resources matching. I could just draw... From the deck, yeah, I'll do that. Just draw, and okay. Well, that seems uh, that seems doctored. It wasn't. There were two. I didn't know there were two of the exact same color and resource. But I suppose with the number of them, there would have to be. Okay, so I've done that. That's uh, that's too lucky. That's not fair. Uh, okay, so Marty wants cards. One more card. We'll do his. Where have I put his tattoo? Oh, it's all the way over there, isn't it? Yeah, he needs five cards. What if he goes for one of the elders up here? 
What would he have to pay? Pathtal is what he's best at, and he, but he hasn't got fruit. He could pay two cards and one fruit. Yeah, that's what he'll do. Two cards and one fruit, and that gets him a point for every path tile. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are some of the only ways that you get points. I think it's just the elders and the bonfire that get you points during the game. Everything else is at the end of the game. And these don't get replaced. There's no more of these. It's the same ones every game. Back to me. Am I still just slowly spinning this bonfire around? I do have a guardian. Get myself a gold. I could just complete the task, though, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to complete a task. So what's... This is number five. What do I want to do? I haven't got the card that lets me put multiple ones in. I could get a path tile, but I could just spend actions to do that. Sail anywhere? Is there an action that I would be really good at? Have an action tile of each color. Yeah, I'm going to sail anywhere. Yeah, this will be good. Sail anywhere. I'm going to sail up to there. And if I can pay for it, I can do the task action. I'm going to spend this guardian... Do I have resources to do this? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to spend these two as if they were a task. I'm going to grab this, and let's just put it there. So I need to pay a mandrake. I'll do a gold, and I can pay a flower, which I have. And my last one up here. So soon I'm not going to have much option. Should have gotten some green on somewhere along the line. Uh, but that's, that's a load of uh, tasks, isn't it? Okay. I think Marty is going to complete his task now. He's got five cards. And so he could go anywhere. He's going to get a path tile and search the deck for the one that he wants. And which resource does he want? He could go and get this, blue flower and like a mandrake or a fruit. So he wants it to be blue and have a mandrake or a fruit on it. There we go. They were quite near the top, actually. So shuffle those up. And so that can go there. Oh dear, how many? Two, four, six. Okay, so Marty has completed a common task. He has put all of his paths down. He's one off getting a, doing all the cards. Okay, he's going to gain... Okay, this works. He's going to gain another card. What would he like? Completing a common task gets him stuff. Because although he's missed out on doing one common task, he's got six cards, which is another common task. So he's going to get a wild action tile and a gold for doing that. And then he can have another bonus. He can't have this now because it's got a common novice on it. He's going to choose this one, which is send a guardian anywhere. And so he's just going to send this. This would usually take him a load of uh, action tiles. He's going to send it all the way to the end. There is a path here, a portal, and a completed bonfire. So this guardian can go there and is worth eight points at the end of the game. Okay, so that is a big combo. He did a task and then completed a load of other things. I think one of his novices is doing a bit of breakdance in there. Okay, so it's over to me. I'm just sitting here with these bonfire tiles. Okay, so I do I pay all three? This is the last bonfire thing I will be doing, but it's all my portals. So the the, the game is um, the game is ending anyway. So two, four, six, eight. Yep, we have uh, gone over seven. So now I grab these um, countdown tiles and pop them on my player board. I have five turns left. I can choose at the start of my turn to take five points and bow out of the game entirely. Or what I'm actually going to do, which is carry on. Because, uh, yeah, I can complete tasks and things, can't I? Now, first of all, oh, I do just want a pull. I do just want to spin it around. I'm going to do it, yeah. I'm going to pay. Is it all three I have to pay? Yeah. It's the, the not. So do I want... I want a wild, don't I? Let's point it over to the wild. So I'm going to pay all three so I can point it anywhere. I'm going to grab the wild action tile and the portal that I need. I've completed all of the portals. This is a common task. So, oh, and I'm placing a novice in the high council. It doesn't say one of my novices, so I assume I get a gold for this. I can place him on something, so I can't have a card. I can't move a guardian anywhere I like. And I think, is this the other fruit island? If I got another task from there I could do this but these tasks don't really work with anything that I've done just looking at the tasks now so I've doubled up this wants you to be on five different islands be on both the flower islands both the fruit islands I don't think there are any other tasks that are kind of feasible before the end or I suppose get a task with a fruit on it is perhaps doable I'm going to get to do another novice action but I'm not going to be able to do 
going to be get a guardian. So maybe I could look at um, this task over here of just get the pink guardian is a task. And just try and get seven before the end. Can I do it? There's five turns left. It's not necessarily complete all the tasks. It's just get seven tasks is another common one. Yeah, I'm going to sail anywhere because I can't do that again with just my stuff. I've got a shell over here. I haven't. I would need green and... So maybe I don't want to just sail anywhere with the bonus. But am I going to do another common task and be able to sail anywhere? No, I'm just not going to be able to do the bonus task and I'll just have to leave it at that for now. But I can get this and maybe I can get the... Maybe I just want to stay where I am. Maybe I, maybe I go here and I grab the task with this common action tile to do the task. I'll just grab that and then I need to pay a shell, which I've got, and then a gold, which I'll use as a green. And so my next one is Mandrake. Yeah, maybe I can get all the tasks. Hmm. Marty now takes the stack and he has that choice. But he's going to carry on, and he's going he's gonna to sail and grab a task, I think. Yeah, it's going to be all of his resources. I don't know that this is a good idea. He's going to sail over here and grab the get the blue and grey guardians, because he's got the grey one. He's going to put it where the colour matches, although a portal's probably not going to come around. It's probably too late for portals. He needs to pay a fruit, which will have to be this, and then a fruit or a mandrake, he'll have to pay his other two resources. Just got to be done. Uh, let's say that one. And then that can flip over. Over to me, I have no action tiles. I can complete a task though. I'm going to complete this task. Oh wait, I need, uh, so the five goes out of the game. Four turns left. Do I want four points? No, I've just earned five from completing this task. He goes out, I get a gold. And I'm going to... I can't have another fate tile. Maybe I should have done that as my bonus thing. I'm going to have to waste a turn doing that, unless I get two gold and a action tile, but no, that's not going to help. Grabbing a guardian, though, is going to let me complete that task, so I will grab the guardian that's required. And that's it for my turn, isn't it? Marty, no action tiles, no tasks to complete, because he needs the blue guardian. Which he's not a million miles away from, but he's probably going to have to use a bonus to, to grab that. Is he going to be able to get a bonus, though? He could get a wild, maybe. Okay, so what, what does he want? Be able to get a task? Line that up with the bonfire and get a wild? Perhaps. Line it up with guardians, get some movement, some resources. Yeah, this is this is... Laid out awfully. <laughs> do not do your boards like this. Uh, yeah, he's going to go for two bonfires, a guardian, a red, and a wild. Oh, that was his fourth turn. My three turns left. Oh, what was I doing? I've, I want a pink guardian. I've got it. I'm completing it? <sighs> Let's see. Let's work this out. So, fate tile... Get some things, that's a turn. Go to the island and get the task I want, that's another turn. Complete the tasks. I haven't got enough turns left. But getting all the things is going to be okay, isn't it? What, what will get me the most action tiles? So that I can kind of do this effectively. If I go like that. I'll get me a while, I'll get two guardians. I haven't really got anything else lined up. My task ones are still locked in the middle here. I don't think I'm bothered about getting more paths. I think that ship's sailed. I'd get more things, but I wouldn't get a wild. I can put them outside though, can't I? But if I want them to to line up nicely, I probably don't want them outside, so it's useless getting that card. Though I could, I could line them up like that and get more path things. One has to be inside the grid, but I can put them any other way I like. Do I want paths or guardians? I think just thinking in the... No, I want this wild. So I will line up... Yeah, guardian there. 
So two guardians, a card, a ship, and a wild. And really, that, that's cost me three points to do that as well. It was three points while that uh, tile was there. So for Marty, the symbol he wants is... Where's this pointing up there? It's two away, the portal, if you wanted to get another guardian in there. But getting portals up to there and getting guardians in isn't happening. He could get a guardian out. Ooh, solving his resource problem. Oh, he can't get more cards. Just thinking the, the card that rewards you for having a load of cards is sitting right there. Maybe I want to get some cards because I've got almost seven tasks, almost seven port. Well, I've got seven portals, but I want, to, I want another task. Anyway. This is Marty's turn. What's he going to do? Getting a portal, I don't think is going to help him. It's going out and getting that guardian. He could do ship, ship, guardian. And that would be four points. Yeah, he'll do that. Ship, ship, guardian. Oh, but where is he? He's, he he's here, isn't he? Oh, what did he spend? Wild and a guardian. He can't do that because he's three away from getting that guardian. Oh yeah, I see his problem now. He could get there, but he wouldn't have the things to get the Guardian, and then he could do a Fate Tile and then get the Guardian and then complete that, but is that worth... Should he just gain the three points? It's a bit of a cop-out getting the three points, but if it's going to cost you more carrying on just to finish that task off, it's just where are his points going to come from at the end of the game? He's only done uh, two tasks the whole game. He could get the portal he needs in two points. I think it's worth staying in for that. But then, every two action tiles is a point. And staying in the game is costing a point. So that's not gaining him anything. And getting the portal isn't gaining him anything. Because you want a portal and a task next to each other to be worth points. Wait, what if he... Th is this worth it? It is worth more than four points because it's got a matching bot uh, thing next to it. And he would get this out, which would surely be more points. How... How can he do this? He can't go and get the Guardian with what he's got. Should he throw... He can have three tiles and still go and get stuff. Should he... Should he throw away three? There's no more sailing coming. If he threw away two tiles, he would be able to get a Fate tile. It should get him w at least one extra... thing, and then next turn he'd be able to sail and get the Guardian, complete that task hopefully get more stuff he's got three turns it's going to be a turn to complete a turn to get the guardian so this turn has to be get the fate tile or it's too late so he's going to throw these two bonfire things away and what's going to get him the most stuff i don't even know at this point i think if you could line if you could align them up that would have been nice but yeah this will get him a wild four greens and a bonfire that's surely enough to get him to do stuff next turn two turns left I'm not backing down. I need to go and get a task, don't I? It doesn't matter about whether I can do it or not, because I can do this task. So it's just going to be sail somewhere. Colour matching and everything doesn't matter. I could just stay here, but it would cost me fewer action tiles to <laughs> actually sail somewhere. Uh, so linked up to this island is this... Oh, I need resources, though, if I want some things. So I'm going to have to pay... So I'm not going to be able to complete a task, am I? Unless I complete this task now, and then I go and... I can't move my boat, can I? I could grab a Guardian, that's not going to help. No, I couldn't grab a Guardian, that's got my thing on it. What, what can I do? I can move a Guardian anywhere. Well, that's, that's helpful. I can grab a Path Tile... Mm. Those two together would be okay, but I'm not going to get to do both, am I? Matching paths are worth two points. But getting your Guardian on there has got to be worth more. Yeah, I will complete this for my turn. Which is going to get me the gold that I need to be able to take the task next turn. And... Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to send a Guardian straight in to my bonfire there. Marty... Loads of stuff now, uh, but he's just going to... He needs to sail three times, doesn't he? Got two turns left. Yeah, sail, 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 and then grab the Guardian. 
because the relish just lets you go anywhere and then grab the guardian that he needs, he can now complete that task next turn. Probably wasn't as great a task as he thought when he took it. Uh, for me, I, I'm going to sail and get a task. I don't care what. Resources and everything just don't matter. Color matching, all that stuff doesn't matter. I'm just paying two gold, and let's say I spent a Mandrake. Flip that over there. And now where are we? I've done seven, well, I've got seven tasks. Seven tasks at the end of the game, like all these common tasks, is worth four points. If you can have seven bonfires, so if I'd had one more turn and been able to complete this task, uh, I could have got seven points at the end, but it's going to be four. But I can put this out on something else. So a path is going to get me two points, basically, because I'm going to be able to pick the one that matches the right colour. Moving a guardian everywhere again, I can't do. So I, I could grab a fate tile. That's not going to help, is it? What else am I going to be able to do on my last turn? This is my last turn, isn't it? Yeah. The fate tile is just going to lose me points, I think. See, it would cost me three points. Is there a way of getting three points of tiles from this? I would get, because every two tiles is a point. I would get three of those, four, five. So no, it would be fewer points. I think that's the best thing that I could have done to line them up. Get six things, so I would keep three points. No, I don't think that's worth doing. Or I could line them up. Or what if I line them up like... Oh, it's the wrong way around, annoyingly. <laughs> so close to being able to line these two up. Yeah, if the task was on the other side, that could have been nice. So fate tile is a no. I can't pick any of this. This is two points. This is two points. It doesn't matter, does it? I think it looks a bit nicer if you get another path tile. I'm just going to pick a red one so the colour matches. And uh, we need another one. But Marty's not going to do that. He's spending his last turn completing a task. Oh, I need a gold, don't I, for completing a task. Marty's going to complete a task, unusually for him. And he's going to send someone out. So he can do a fate tile, but he's not getting another turn, so there's no point in that. can sail his boat anywhere. Getting another task doesn't help, does it? He's only got three guardians, so no any of the five for the task. So grabbing a guardian is probably not that helpful. Can't grab a card because his colours uh, could go on the bonfire and just get two points. But this would get him two points. Send a guardian anywhere isn't helpful because there's no portals for them to go into the task like mine. Path tile. No, he, he can't get a path tile. He, yeah, he'll just get a... He'll get a wild action tile and um, two gold, I think. And I think that is it. Yeah, nobody, nobody bowed out early. So the end of the game is points time. Points for your completed bonfires between two and eight. So I've got nine, 12, 16, 21, 23, which surely, yeah, I'm sorry, Marty. Uh, Marty has got 14. He does actually have... Uh, six points already, so he's only three points behind. Uh, then guardians on your tasks. I've got oh that one's still there. I've got four. Marty's got eight. So one, two, three, four, eight. Then it's portals next to bonfires, two points each. So I've got six bonfires, and they're all next to portals, so twelve points. And Marty. Just got one. That's two points for him. Then bonfires next to matching coloured paths. I've got two points each for those. Two, four, six, eight. Marty didn't match there. He's got four there. Then four points for each common task, unless you did this one, which is seven. So I got all the tasks, all the portals. So I get eight. Marty got all the paths, all the cards, so also gets eight. So I need my uh, 50. Fate tiles left. Yeah, even fate tiles. Have I got all this left? Marty gets three points. I get nine points. Resources left. I, well, actually, I've got a resource, so one, two points. Yeah, if Marty's got about... 50 resources in front of him, he wins. Uh, one, two, three points of resources. So, yeah. 
Marty messed up a bit. <laughs> Marty got uh, fixated on some things. He took a card that's not that great in two players and realized uh, halfway through because there's going to be no situation where you would want to pay three action tiles to get the third task. You know, it would be you dominating an island entirely. That's why you have to pay uh, a lot because you don't have to move anywhere. You get all of these tasks. Uh, but in a two player game, there's only two on each island. But anyway, enough strategy nonsense. Don't follow the strategy of anything that I have done here. Maybe my strategy was better. Uh, just uh, this, is just to give you an idea of the game, and I hope it's done that. I could have taken some of these and gotten points off of those, but it didn't matter, does it? Thank you very much for watching this. If you'd like to know what I think about the game, then you can click on my first impressions on the screen shortly, or it's in the description now. If you'd like support, I've told you about Patreon, liking and subscribing. I'm supposed to tell you all about that as well to keep um, YouTube's algorithm satiated but anyway thank you very much for watching this and i'll see you for the next game bye everyone